Welcome to another review of toy collections, uh, specifically my fantasy collection. Here we have the review for the poster by McFarlane, Series 2, I believe. It's called Total Chaos, uh, 1997. In uh, very nicely done. Um, previously, I had reviewed the classic uh, series. 34 uh, so if you look for that video you'll see the differences between the one that I'm about to do here so just a quick overview here of the item we'll turn them around in a second let me set the camera down so let's start with the height uh, it's just a little bit under seven inches um, in in height to the top of the the head there or portion of the neck and it's close to about three inches in width from shoulder to shoulder I don't know if you can see the numbers there but uh, close to three inches <clears throat> So it's a little taller than the classic series so let's take a quick look around it I'll zoom into the weapons in a moment So this one here has a limited articulation. Um, typically I give that 10 points maximum, but in this case I'm giving this one four points. You can move it at the shoulders, the arms will move, will swivel up and down. The neck will also swivel kind of sideways. Uh, the legs do swing a little bit, uh, just uh, kind of hard to maneuver those around. Uh, so you know four points for that the weapons um, it's got a only two weapons um, this lens which uh, by the way it's really hard to place in the back uh, which I'll show you in a second and this other lens right here or spear or kind of an axe combination of spear and axe uh, you can see it there in comparison to this other one here so those are the two weapons that came with um, now you can see there's a holder there and if I try to put that there you know it kind of stays but uh, move sometimes when you move them around it uh, will fall because there's really nothing to tie it and it just kind of embraces in this area and that's that's what kind of helps and sometimes it pushes it so it just depends but uh, I do want to show you all these little extra items that also comes with in the back. All these things you can actually take out. And you can see the skull, the jaw. I'm sorry, that's the vertebrae. There's the jaw. Uh, what looks to be tusks. Another piece of bone right here. Another long tusk. And this one here, which is very interesting. It's a skull. Half of it looked like to be made out of metal uh, and the other half is skull, so that's pretty interesting. And this big bone right here in his hand, you really have to jam it in there to stay. It, it falls fairly easy out of this hand. Let's put it back over here. <clears throat> so that's basically, let me see if I can put this back. Yeah, that's right, we'll just leave it there. That's basically the weapons and all the little extra items that it comes with. Uh, all these other pieces here, they don't they don't come off, but that's detail specific. Uh, so for weapons, I gave that 10 points. Uh, the maximum on that is typically 20. Uh, when it comes down to the details, there's a couple of things I don't like. Uh, for sure, the ears, 
uh, it doesn't really have any ears even though it kind of seems to try to give the idea that they're wrapped around but but basically they're just not there and see the bone came off again if you're not careful just it just comes off that's another thing about the item here that I don't like the weapon doesn't stay well and the bone doesn't stay well in his hand this one will come off I tightened it here just for my purposes but um, this this is extra right here this little ribbon but uh, I like the fact that it's got this uh, nice rope like I don't that's how it came <coughs> then other details that it's got uh, this little extra pieces this knife and, the, and this arm the belt here is looks like it's copper or some sort of wood uh, in comparison to this one which I'll review next on my other videos I like these beads and this brace bracelet you know, this arm's got some arm bracelet that has some skulls right there <coughs> I like all these little uh, straps around his arm and legs mm -hmm. actually mostly around his arms and this this was here in the leg uh, but again in comparison to series 34 this one uh, has a little less quality on detail uh, it's got some items here on the front as you can see in the neck area as well uh, this is pretty interesting having these little bones in this trunk and the tusks in this case they're they're broken off so uh, like it's been in battles of some sort so details, uh, there's a couple of things I didn't like. Typically the maximum there is 30 points, but I gave this one 26. Um, the package itself, I don't have it. I didn't really care to keep the package. It was actually less than this one here. Definitely not as good as this package in here, which uh, we'll review on my next video. So I gave that two points typically the maximum is five points the brand name is well known um, so I gave that the maximum points which is five the cost has varied quite a bit if you do a search on this item you can find it for twenty dollars all the way to seventy dollars in some cases they're even asking for ninety dollars that's a huge difference in price uh, some of them are new some of them are used but even if in the use conditions, uh, $20, it's uh, a little too much for use conditions. And sometimes they are asking for $40 on use conditions. So um, there's so much variation in price on, like this one here that I'm giving that uh, five points. Typically the cost uh, maximum points is 10 points. Now when it comes down to bonus points, uh, it's nicely done not as good as this one so i'm giving this one 45 points so all points total for this one is 92 compared to series 34 that one had 99 points so uh, pretty pretty even in regards to the points uh, within the 90s so that's not too bad i still highly recommend to add to your collection uh, so here you go i uh, hope that you enjoyed the review and uh, next will be the poacher the special edition on my next video we'll review this one in comparison to this other two okay hope you enjoyed it have a good one